What's going on YouTube? And today we do a how-to video on installing ACS Composites rear fascia extensions. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy D, back with you once again. Things are gonna get a little bit more crazy in 2020. I just kinda figure out, hey, I'm a fun guy, I'm a fun dude. So uh, we're gonna get a little bit more crazy, a little bit more exuberant, if you will. So let's go ahead and talk about these rear fascia extensions by ACS Composites. So I want to say that none of these components that I've gotten from ACS Composites have been given to me by them. I have purchased each and every one of them. So um, maybe one of these days, me and ACS Composite will get together and uh, you know collab a little bit, and they'll send me something to try out for them. I'm not opposed to it at all. So uh, yeah, just kind of put that little that little nugget up in their ear so all right and anybody i just got a new email address so if you want to email me about anything dsrides at gmail.com d-z-r-i-d-e-z -E at gmail.com all right everybody so let's go on over and check out and see exactly what we are going to need for this install so here we go everything that we're going to need for this install um, of course you need the good acs composite extensions uh, I have rubbing alcohol as well as um, a towel just because I want to get up underneath and make sure that uh, when I put the adhesive on there it'll stick properly. Um, I have some 3M double sided sticky tape here that I end up purchasing. And then of course you got your good 7 uh, millimeter socket. So I also have uh, some warm water as well as a microfiber towel just so I can wipe up underneath. I have yet to wash her and so I know that she's dirty underneath so I want to at least get up under there make sure that area is cleaned and good to go um, before I try to put anything on there. All right everybody so here we go. Um, so we got the good ACS composite rear fascia extensions. Let me go ahead and uh, open this up all right okay so as always ACS composite I tell you what they have some of the best uh, packaging that um, that I've seen out there all right so here you go of course you always have the standard um, ACS composite information that's in here and so this is just telling you going over all the different uh, items that they have for your c7 corvette here we go with the uh, instructions right here and like i said we will not be utilizing those flange rivets we actually have um the mounting tape right here that we're going to end up using and so we'll take this out and so here goes those rivets um that i was telling you about right here all right so here we go for this you can see they have the um, beautiful carbon flash finish. Not sure if you guys can see that flake in the sun. So there you go. All right, so this is this side. If you can check that out, that's gonna go underneath there just like that. Actually, it looks, looks pretty good actually. I actually like that. I like it a lot. Alright, so first... Uh, as you can probably see underneath there. As you can see right there, you have a lot of dirt and stuff. So these are 7 millimeter brackets. So we're going to have to take off this one this one and this one and then uh yeah then we'll be good to go to put that up underneath there all 
All right, all nice and clean. All right, everybody, so you can see that's nice and clean now. Now we're gonna end up going ahead, taking off these bolts right here. So I'm not sure if you can I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but underneath here you do have a little bit of wear, like there's some uh, rocks that's been popping up and hitting these. So um, these um, ex uh, these rear fascia extensions should protect this uh, this bit right here. So uh, so yeah, so that's good to know that uh, it'll be protected. So I'm gonna put this on there after my buddy Justin ended up recommending that uh, you put this on here if you didn't want to put uh, holes in the car. And uh, everything that I've done to the final thus far, I've not had to put any type of, I've not had to put any type of holes or anything like that, extra holes that weren't already there. So I definitely want to keep that tradition going. I'll put some right there. All right, everybody, so there you go. Everything should be good. So because of the XL rot guards, you wanna make sure that when you put this back on, you're pushing up against here and put this bolt back in with this flush up against here. Cause if not, you might be, if you don't put it in there, this rot guard, this XL rot guard has a little flap that goes here and it screws in so definitely want to make sure that when you do this and if you have the ACS composite rock guard extensions that you push it back up against there all right so got that on there let's dry this off a bit all right, everybody, this looks like it gives it a little bit better vantage point because there was a lot of sun on the other side. So I'm going to end up showing this side as well. And like I said, I'm not putting it All right, as you can see, um, I didn't put it all the way on there um, because the, I don't want the 3M tape to adhere to it before I get everything lined up. <laughs> Once I know I at least got the bolts halfway screwed in, then I'll go ahead and start to make sure everything is aligned here and then just <sighs> push up putting a little bit of pressure, maybe three to five seconds, maybe a little bit longer. All right, then I can go ahead and start screwing these.
everybody. That's all that I have time for today. I hope that this uh, I hope that this tutorial uh, helps you out if you decide to go ahead and get these. I will go ahead and link these particular rear uh, fascia extensions in the description below and make sure you check out ACS Composite. They without a doubt has probably some, actually they have some of the best uh, items for your C7 Corvette and eventually I'm sure for the C8. So everybody for 2020, go ahead and smash that like button if you like this video. And if you like the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification button so that each and every time I put out a video, you'll be notified. And as always, everybody, remember, everybody deployed. And I'm out.